The ninth generation of consoles, or the generation of consoles that started in the year 2020, had a very big problem, and that was shortages. Yeah, think back four years ago to the start of COVID. If you were trying to buy an Xbox Series console or a PlayStation 5, you probably very much ran into the very big problem of the shortage of these consoles. The supply was way lower than the demand. It became such a problem that if you tried to purchase one of these consoles in 2020 or 2021, you likely ran into scalpers. Yes, yeah, scalping was a very big deal with these consoles, which essentially that's when people will purchase these consoles only to turn around and sell them at, you know, double the profit. Scalping is bad for everybody, like minus the actual seller of these scalped items. It is just an overall bad thing. It's bad for the suppliers of these consoles because this is all money that they themselves are not getting, you know, when these prices are inflated by these sellers. And it's also very bad for the people that are obviously trying to purchase the consoles. You go out Christmas shopping 2020 for your little Johnny to get, to get an Xbox series. You got $500 in hand and you have to end up forking over $800 to the guy behind the store. Now scalping for Nintendo consoles has not been maybe as much of an issue as what we've seen from these ninth generation consoles from Xbox and PlayStation. But obviously with the Switch 2 just around the corner, in fact I'm seeing now that they have announced that they are well going to announce it no later than March of next year. So with it being one of the most highly anticipated consoles of all time. A lot of people who have the horror stories, the, the PTSD of trying to buy an Xbox or a PlayStation in 2020 might be worried about scalping being an issue for these consoles as well. Well, it turns out this was actually brought up in a Q&A during a shareholder conference with President Shuntaro Furukawa. He is the president of Nintendo. And somebody basically asked, hey, how are you going to address this on the front end? Because we don't want scalping to be an issue for our consumers. It's gonna, you know, like I said, be bad for everybody. And the president of Nintendo responded and said, yes, we are well aware of these issues and we have full intentions of handling this on the front end. And you might laugh at uh, what his answer is for dealing with this problem. It is the most simple, yet obviously most effective way of dealing with the problem of scalping. He says that Nintendo is going to completely make this problem irrelevant by simply supplying more Switch 2s, or whatever it's gonna be called. Obviously, they don't wanna oversupply things because because that could be a certain cost to them, and I'm sure they know that as well. But it would seem that Shuntaro Furukawa is understanding the problems you could run into by undersupplying your console are actually much more than problems you could face if you oversupply it. So yeah, he is saying with this Switch 2, with this next Nintendo console, we are going to make the supply exceed or at the very least meet the demand, thereby completely ruling out these secondary markets, these scalpers, people using eBay, online markets, etc. Again, this is profit that Nintendo is out at the end of the day. They know that. They want to capitalize on all of this profit. So yeah, as simple of a solution as this may seem, again, like I said, it might be kind of funny, but it is just simple enough to work. I'm seeing Nintendo ran into a problem in 2021, about three years ago, where there was a shortage in semiconductors, which impacted Switch production. Now, I don't know if there was necessarily a Switch shortage during that time. I mean, I'm sure there was at least somewhat of a shortage or problem that came from that. So with that happening in 2021 and then with them uh, seeing the disaster that was 2020 when Xbox and PlayStation sold their new consoles, it is clear they want to avoid all of that on the forefront. So if you are going to buy the next Nintendo console, I don't know how it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, mediocre or maybe it's going to be the best console ever made. But at the very least, it sounds like you can rest easy to know that you should be able to buy it with no problems day one without having to buy buy it from the person, the scalper behind the store.